In this video, we're going to take a look at creating a guest wireless access point on a Synology router. The aim is to allow house guests to access a Wi-Fi connection, but without exposing the home network to their devices. As we have already created a wireless access point called My Doodads Wi-Fi, we can attempt to connect to the Synology router manager via a web browser. In the web browser's address bar, if we type in 192.168.1.1, we should be taken to the Synology router's login page. We now need to sign in with the administrator's name and the password. It's worth noting that I don't save the password to the computer for security reasons. Now that we're in the SRM, we need to select Network Center. From within Network Center, we then need to select the Wireless Options. You can see that we're using the default settings, which is Smart Connect. Smart Connect combines the 2.4 and 5 GHz bands and automatically manages them to ensure that you have the best wireless connection speeds possible for the devices that are connected to your wireless access point. While we don't need to have Smart Connect enabled to create a guest network, these wireless settings are fine for my wireless network needs. So let's take a look at how we create a guest network. You can see the 5 GHz and the 2.4 GHz bands have been separated out. As I'm creating a guest network to allow guests access to the internet, I'm only going to use the 2.4 GHz band. This is an older wireless standard. But as I don't know what devices my guests might have, I want to minimize the chance that they can't connect to the guest network. When I enable 2.4 GHz guest network, the input fields are activated. The first one is name SSD. Here we need to enter a name which is going to make it easy for my guests to identify the correct wireless access point to connect to. I'm going to enter my doodads dash Wi-Fi dash guest. The next option is security level. You can see that there are four different settings. As we can't leave the guest network open for anyone to use and WEP is very insecure, the only options we have available is WPA and WPA2. WPA2 is considered more secure than WPA, so I'm going to set the security level to high WPA2 Personal. Next, I need to set a password for the guest wireless access point. The more complex I make the password, the more difficult it will be to hack the guest network. So I'm going to use a combination of upper and lowercase letters combined with numbers or characters. Next, we have the Valid4 option, which specifies how long the guest network will be accessible for. The default option is for a week, but there are other options to choose from. In this instance, my house guest is only staying the night, so I will set the valid for date to one day. At the end of 24 hours, the guest network will automatically be disabled. The next option is AP isolation, AP standing for access point. This setting prevents devices connected to the guest network from communicating with other devices on the guest network. I'm going to enable this option as I don't want a guest's device potentially infecting other guest's devices that have been connected to my guest wireless access point. The final option I need to review is whether I allow the local network to have access to the guest network. The main reason why you would create a guest network is to give guests access to the internet while isolating your own personal network. So to keep my network isolated, I won't be enabling this option. With my options set, I'm going to click Apply. A wireless guest network has now been created. We can confirm this by trying to connect to the newly created guest wireless access point. As you can see, we still have the My Doodads Wi-Fi access point, but we now also have a My Doodads-Wi-Fi-Guest access point.